Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the latest update, but also a application if you've never played with it. It's an application called One Hand Operation Plus, and it's inside of Goodlock 2019. It's not underneath the normal unit of Goodlock 2019, it's with inside of the family, and you just wanna have this application downloaded. Now, the One Hand Operation Plus, or whatever it's called, really what it's for is it brings in this little menu on the right hand side and also the left hand side that it gives you different abilities to only use one hand operations. So it's not really going into the one handed mode of shrinking things down or making a smaller calculator or smaller you know, keyboard. It's a way to do functions or operations with only one finger or your one hand. So the way I have mine set up is that if I swipe on the screen, just basically swiping it and that's pretty much it, it's going back. So if I go on side of the internet here, if I swipe there, it's gonna take me back a screen. Same thing here inside of the gallery, if I was to swipe that way, it takes me back a screen. Now if I swipe over and down, then this one will give me different applications that I recently did, which is tasks. So these are different tasks or applications that was recently opened, so in this way I'd be able to go right back inside of that application and make any type of changes. And so that's right here was the one we just did, which was task switcher. And the other one is quick tools. So for me to show you quick tools, this is where I swipe over and swipe up. Now these will be tools, so I can change the screen brightness. I can change and do a uh, screen off. I'd also be able to go through and take a screenshot, uh, the media controller. So let's say that I go into um, the screen brightness, I can in increase it, increase, decrease, decrease. I can turn on adaptive brightness and I can also turn on night mode. So a few other ones inside of here is I can turn on the one-handed mode. I can do the power key menu. So if I don't really have an opportunity of really pressing on that power key over there, if I do the power key menu, then it's gonna show me restart, power off and everything else. So really let's go through all the different settings and also let me show you how you can first install it. So first you wanna download Goodlock 2019, which this one is only really available inside of the United States. If you're outside the United States, download a VPN, your phone don't know where you're at, turn off your phone, turn it back on, and now because it doesn't know where you are, you're able to download Goodlock 2019. So really what you wanna do is go inside your application tray on the very top right hand side, go inside of your Galaxy Essentials, and then inside of Galaxy the essentials just type in good lock and then underneath good lock this is where you go inside you hit on download or install once it's downloaded and installed this is what your screen will look like now it's not any of these main unit you know applications here which we noticed that task changer does have a update but you want to go inside of family Inside of family, these are other applications that was part of GoodLock but didn't make it inside the main unit. So it's right here, One Hand Operation Plus. It's a way that you're able to add gesture handles to the left or right side of the screen so you can control your phone easily with one hand. You can customize actions to use when you swipe in different directions from each side. Now, because I don't really hold my phone on with my left hand, I did turn off the left handle. It was kind of overkill for me. I didn't need the other side, um, but I just have mine turned on for the right side of the phone. So right here, you can see that this one is already my edge panels, but then this blue area that is right there, this is actually the area of my little swipage for One Hand Operation Plus. Now, when you go down here, this is where you can change the transparency. So if you want it to be low, so now you can really see this blue area that's on the side of the phone, that is the little swiping spot. Uh, if I was to go through here, turn it on high, you can see it a little bit less. You can also change the size. So you can see how it's kind of moving up a little bit up there and it's all the way on the very bottom right over here. You see how that blue is moving? That is the area that I'm talking about. Now, because my edge panel is right there, I'm pretty much moving it a little bit above that edge panel. Uh, my little edge panel that's right here, I can move it on down. So now I'm not gonna have any issues. So if I swipe up here, I know that I won't accidentally turn on my edge panels. So this is where you can change the position. You can also change the size. Um, again, you can kind of go through here, really make it however you want it to. You can change the touch width <laughs> if you want it to activate by being like even that close to the edge, but really you don't need to have that. So I'm gonna swipe it pretty much from the edge. It's almost a little similar to my edge panel, so I don't need it to be much, and that's pretty much about it. You can also have your uh, vibration levels and the swipe distance if you want it to be short or if you want it to be long. Now let's kind of go through some of the handles. So for the right side, 
for if you're just swiping it to the left, that is the back key. Now, if you want your swipe left to be something different, you can change it. You can put it as home key, recent, menu, app screen, previous app. You can go forward in the web browser. You can open the notification panel, quick panel, uh, or the open quick panel, screen off. I mean, you, you have all of these that you can use by doing a simple little swipe. Now, for me, it makes sense to go back. That is how I have that one set up. For the diagonal up, I have it set up as quick tools. Um, and then inside of quick tools, you can change pretty much the order of how you want these to happen. So maybe your screen brightness maybe might be a little bit more important for you. Put the brightness up there. Uh, maybe also the media controller. So let me press and hold, see if I can move up my media controller too. Put that over uh, next to the screen brightness. Um, One-handed mode, don't really need. Power key. Eh, I'm pretty close to that. Screenshots kind of good with one little baby touch of a button. You can do a screenshot. Um, you can also add more, but I'm going to leave mine pretty much the way it is. And so now we're good to go. For the diagonal down, you can do a task uh, ch uh, switcher. So task switcher means the last applications that you have opened. So if there's any running applications, so if you go to your recent apps, so I have um, Galaxy apps, I've got the, the gallery, I've got the Chrome, got the settings, got the calendar, got the calculator, let's see settings, got text message, YouTube, YouTube music. So that means that if I was to go um, and swipe down with that little diagonal, these are all the applications that we just saw and pretty much in that exact same order as well. So that's really kind of how this works. So if you're trying to figure out how to delete some of these or, or add more, it's because it's your recent apps. So YouTube was one definitely open. If you hit on the X, so now it's closed. Go back into recent applications, go all the way over. YouTube is now closed. There is no YouTube application. So it's another way that you can close applications by doing swipe and then do the little diagonal. So these are your recent applications to kind of get into. And then you also have long swipe. Perform different actions when you do a longer swipe and hold your finger on the screen. So if you wanna bring in the screen and just kind of hold it, then you can go inside task switcher or really whatever you want. So if there's more of these that you want to do, you're able to do, or you can put it as none. So if you want probably diagonal up to be nothing, you want diagonal down to be nothing, um, but you do, okay, you actually have to have one of them set up. So swiping of the left, uh, let's do task switcher. I do like that one. This one we'll put as none, that one's as none. So now what should happen is if I, bring it out here and I hold it, it's bringing up my recent applications. Um, so this little down diagonal one, I can actually switch this to something else. So diagonal down, um, what I can do is I can pull the screen down, uh, pull screen down, let's see what that one does. Okay, so if I do down and pull it down, there we go, that kind of turned on the settings, but I don't really want that one. So I'm gonna go right back to where I was from before. So task switcher, long swipe off, now I'm good to go right back where I was from before. And that's really this whole full entire application. This is really kind of how you go through everything. You can have it on, you can also turn it off. So this is my area of swipage. This is pretty much where I'd be able to hold my phone. Very uh, natural and native for my thumb to hit with inside of this area. Don't need it on the left, keeping it on the right. I like the back key, quick tools, task switcher, which is your applications. And then inside of the advanced features, you can go through here, you can do a uh, quick action. So you can start actions before you release your finger from the screen. You can also have this work in landscape mode. You can show notifications, you know, fit to keyboard. So I'm keeping fit to keyboard there. Everything else I have turned off. I don't need any of these, but I have the animation there, which is showing me the animation of when I do a gesture. So if I swipe over, it's showing me the arrow. So these are the only two things that I have turned on and I kept on. So there's really nothing inside of advanced features that you need. This is something that you don't really need it to be too advanced. You want it to be super simple, quick, easy to use, and it's something that is gonna be helpful. So this was that update of the uh, One Hand Operation Plus. Again, it doesn't shrink anything really. It's a way to use more uh, different operations instead of using two different fingers or whatever. It's using one hand, one thumb, able to get it all done. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here at the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and I'll see you guys later.